Dearly beloved, God is good. It's our slogan. And we appreciate God again. Father in heaven, we thank you for every opportunity and we pray that you enable us to utilize this one and it's for your glory and for our enlightenment in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue with the man, Elisha. And for Elisha's life, and of course remember that Elisha means God is my salvation. And for me and for you, it should be our slogan, God is my salvation. Whether I'm getting out of my house, whether I'm going in, whether I'm going to sleep, whether I'm doing whatever I'm doing out there, walking and doing anything, God is my salvation. And in the life of a prophet, Elisha, you cannot jump away without talking about the double portion. The man knew what he wanted. And I want to appeal to you also that in life, know what you want and go for it. Now, before Elijah handed over, before he was taken to heaven, Elisha knew what he wanted. And that is the first thing that I want to mention to you. In life, know what you want and go for it. And God blessed this request. And this we see in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. We just want to read there. And Elisha asks Elijah for a double portion. And so the Bible says, When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, Please let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. And Elijah said, You have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if you do not see me, it shall not be so. And so they continued. They went on talking and walking until Elijah was taken away from Elisha and using a whirlwind and the chariots of um, horses and fire and Elijah departed. Now, this is the point, my brothers, my sisters, in our finding God, the point of the double portion is very, very important. And after he had been appointed a successor, he needed something and we're going to do a little bit more about the double, the double portion in scripture. And, but before we get into how we get the double portion, double portions started far back, even before Elisha does mention about it. It's a blessing that someone needed to have in a double measure. And he is talking about a double portion just cried and said, may I receive a double portion of your, script, of your spirit? Because he knew Elijah had done greatly. And so he needed it to do great and even more. And more means to do double well. And just like all of us, needed to do better, not to do well. And so Elijah, Elisha went for what he needed. And so in life, we also desire to do to go for what we need. But there are other scriptures that, 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 that do mention something about the double portion. Of course, um, we find Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 17, talks about the double portion and that in regards to the firstborns. And when you look there, you'll see double portions there. In First Samuel chapter 1, verse 5, we find two women on one husband. That is um, Hannah the one that was barren, and Penina, her co-wife, all both married to Elkanah. But the Bible does mention that actually Elkanah would give a double portion to Hannah. She was without children, but she received a double portion. And you see double portion there in First Samuel 1, 5. And in Job, chapter 42, verse 10, Job received twice as much. And that's the double portion that we're talking about. 
the first life of Job was he was great, he was rich, he was a, a nobleman in a clan, in a village, in a town, in a city. But when everything was taken away, he lamented, he was in anguish, he was so troubled because everything had been taken, children, cows, goats, all his riches. But the Bible says that when God paid Job, he, pay, he paid him double. And so this is um, a double portion. And when we read Job 42.10, Job received twice as much. And the Bible is very clear on receiving double portion. And in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7, and this one, we are going directly there. Isaiah 61, verse 7, the Bible does mention something about the double portion as well here. And it says that instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Pray the Lord. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everlasting joy. And this was something that was prophesied to the people when they were returning to their land. And God promises double portion only when we remain faithful to him and we continue like, you know, Elisha was. And in this is that instead of shame, there's a double portion waiting for you and that you rejoice in your own lot. And I take this one, very, very important because it is a prophecy and it spoke to, about to those people, it spoke about them. But this scripture also speaks to us, speaks about us. And so for me, in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7, I take it as my, you know, um, an encouraging verse. And you too need to take it because we are in finding God and God is the one who bestows the real double portion. And this is something that I desire, that for us as children of God, we acquire what is ours and the double so. And so this is something that Elisha requested uh, to be double blessed. And Elijah did the same. Remember that Elijah performed many miracles in the Bible. But the Bible shows us where Elijah did, Elisha doubled. If there were 14 miracles, Elijah, Elisha performed 28. And so it, is, it was a double portion indeed. So the double portion in scripture was a double blessing. And we have already mentioned ancient times, uh, the, the autonomy. But we can also go far back as Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3, when God was calling Abraham, he said, I will bless you. I will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. And that he said that through you, I will bless all the nations of the earth. And this is the word of the Lord saying so. I saw double portion. Brother, my sister, when you are blessed, you are blessed to bless. When you are given, you are given to give. When you are taught, you are taught to teach. When you are encouraged, you are encouraged to encourage, meaning actually you receive to give. So the first blessing is to receive. And I praised God for that and still praise God. The first blessing, the double, the first, the first portion, the first blessing is for you to receive and for me to receive. Now the second blessing, which is also double, which makes it double, is giving it away. Abraham received. And God said that through you all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. And this is what it means that you and I receive to give. And so the reason why it's more blessed, the Bible says that actually it's more blessed to give than to receive. And in Luke chapter 6 verse 38, the Bible mentions, I read it and I would still enjoy reading it. It says that give and it will be given to you. And so in the double portion, we are encouraged that first we receive and after we have received, we give. And that's what the Bible encourages us to do. And that's the double portion. Double portion, one, receiving, two, giving. And as you give, you are receiving it back. And as you are giving, you are, you are getting more. And so God blesses us in this way. And so remember what Elijah told Elisha, that ask what, are you, what you need and I'll give to you. And indeed, uh, he was given. So the double portion was a portion um, that went... Uh, to those that were firstborns and 
I may also count myself as so, and you can also count yourself as so, as long as you are in Christ. And so the secret of the double portion, as I tend to the finish, is how do you receive it? How did Elisha receive the double portion? And I think this is very, very important for you and for me. How do you receive the double portion? How do you receive the double blessing? How did Abraham receive it? Of course, first and foremost, it's by the grace of God. Because Abraham was coming from a family that was polygamous and many, many things were happening there. They were worshipping gods that were unknown. They were worshipping the moon. They were worshipping the stars. They were worshipping so many things. But by God's grace. And so God positions us by himself. And that he gives you the double portion. We are not the same. We are not equal. There is a way God does his things. And he's not segregative, but his grace Decide to sit that way. And that is mathematics. And so first thing is God is grace. Now the second thing is when we read Elisha following Elijah, he stuck with him to the very end. Now for him to receive the double portion, he had to remain, to remain, to remain, to remain with Elijah up to the very end. And so receiving the double portion means that actually you never give up. Like I'm promising myself that I'll never give up serving God. Because the double portion is about not giving up. Now, Elisha never gave up. And you too, if you don't give up, God is, is this what he's showing us. And you see, when Elisha, Elijah was telling Elijah about receiving, he said, keep with me. When you see me go, you'll receive. But if you don't see me go, then you'll not receive. So my brother, my sister, the double portion is about not giving up. Now, God gives those that will be persistent, insistent, and that will be resistant. I enjoy saying those words. And may God enable you to remain persistent. Elijah never gave up. Elisha never gave up. And because he never gave up, he received the double portion. So persist and insist. And never give up your Christianity, never give up your, your faith, and your double portion is on the way, if you have not received it. But it keeps coming every day because every time you wake up, there's something new that God shows you. Point number two, about number three, because first is God is grace. Second is stick there. Don't give up. Elijah, Elijah never gave up and he never gave up indeed. Number three is humble service. It's a pathway to double portion. Now, Elijah remained an assistant. There are some people who want to run to the forefront when they are not. And so it is encouraging us to actually keep, let us keep, you know, humble. Humble service, it's a pathway to the double portion. And Elisha kept, kept that, kept being, you know, humble, serving, 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 serving. He was an assistant. And time comes, he becomes a prophet. And the prophet actually does more, more miracles than his master, where I have said that where Elijah performed 14, Elisha performed 28, or even more. And so the double portion is for those that are humble. And so keep there. And may God bless you. And may God help me also to keep there, to keep humble in this ministry. And number four that I want to talk about is asking the Holy Spirit to give you the grace of humility. That's not number, but it is still on number three. That ask the Holy Spirit to give you the gift of humility. Humility was still on the spirit of, hum, of humbleness. And so pride goes ahead of a fall. I repeat, pride goes ahead, ahead, of, ahead of a fall. Now, reduce pride, lift humility, double portion comes. And we thank God. And the number three is be willing to let go of old. Separate yourself from the old. Now, Elisha. Is an amazing man that he was actually plowing. He had the 12, I mean, 12 sets of oxen. He went back and gave up and gave up the old lifestyle. Now, all of us are called upon to live past, past lifestyle. We have had our past lifestyles, but we encourage you to live. Abraham was called to leave his kindred and he received his double portion that through him, God's people will be blessed. Now, God encourages you and God calls you that. Be willing to let go of old. Is it drunkenness? Is it adultery? Is it 
um, whatever it is, is it stealing, is it gossiping, is it, give up all those old lifestyles and God will be ready to give you a double portion. So that is actually very, very important, my brother, my sister, that you let go, the old. Elisha let go. Even to the extent, actually, he, he slaughtered the oxen and gave people to eat. And he moved and followed Elijah. And so this is actually critical for me and for you. Now, number four is that go through transformation. Now, Romans chapter 12, verse 12, verse 2, the Bible says, let us transform ourselves. Now, do transformation, my brother. The transformation is what we need, uh, not to conform the standards of the world, but transform ourselves. People are, people are conforming so much. A lot of, conform, of, of, trans, of conforming that, you know, uh, people want to go and drink, you also go. People want to go and dance, you also go. People want to go and, you know, like now we have evils that are, that are on. Of course, people want to jump into what the world wants. But the Bible is saying, let us transform ourselves and become a people that God wants us to be. And my brother, my sister, may you remain a person that God can use in this place, in this time, in this generation. And may God enable you to take your position, to take your place. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 3, of course, Joshua chapter 1 entirely, God is encouraging Joshua about so very many things. But one of them is that I'll give you, I'll give you every place where your foot, where you set your foot. I am believing that God is having something new for you. I'm also believing that actually God is having something new for me. Now, one thing that I need to do is to keep there, to stick there, and never give up. What I've been doing as a minister, I pray that God gives me the energy. By divine enablement, I renew myself. And Isaiah 41, verse 31, the Bible is, gives us that those who trust in the Lord shall renew their strength. Isaiah 40, verse 31, shall renew their strength and then they shall mount up. And may God enable us to mount up. May God enable you to mount up. May you gain renewed strength to mount up. And so that this double portion is your portion. And I'm praying that actually the double portion should be my portion. And because you receive that is, receiving is one portion, giving is another. And as you give, you are receiving. And I'm sure that as I share this, I'm also giving out, and I'm ready to receive more from the Lord. And so may God bless you and watch over you, and that you will remain a person that is positioned for a double portion. And Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7 says, Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion for you. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everything, everlasting joy in their lot. I'm praying that God does his work. And may he keep you and protect me and protect you and protect me and give me the opportunity to enjoy my double portion, receive, give, and receive more. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.